Hey guys, welcome to Kluge Tech Time. I'm David, and I've got right here the Mavic Mini. And just a little ways over there is actually a small airport. Now, it is Class G. I'm a Part 107 pilot, so I'm allowed to fly in this area. However, DJI puts an authorization zone around this area. So I'll show you on screen. Uh, there is definitely an authorization zone here. I fly in areas like this all of the time. And with the new Mavic Mini, I've actually heard that the geo zones don't work here. You can't get authorization to fly in a place like this. So what I did was I brought my Mavic Mini, I brought my Mavic Air, and I brought my DJI Spark. So I've got all three of these here and I'm gonna give them a quick test to see how easy it is to, right this moment, no planning ahead, just go ahead and take it for a quick little flight. Now, I'm just gonna actually, I'm not really gonna fly around, I'm just gonna pop it up and prove whether I'm able to fly them, whether I'm able to figure it out. So, here we go. So, I'm gonna go ahead and I've got my Mavic Mini here. I'm going to turn it on, set it on the ground here, all right, so it says we are in an authorization zone. It shows it to me, shows where we're at on the screen. It'll bring up a little message and it'll say uh, it's an authorization zone. In these zones, which appear blue on the map, users will be prompted with a warning and flight is limited by default. Authorization zones may be unlocked by authorized users using a DJI verified account. And I am a DJI verified account. I've done this before with DJI Go before many times, uh, but let's give it a try here. All right, so it's not telling me anything, so I'm just going to go in, go fly. It says, well, we got a beginner tutorial. I'm just going to skip that. Don't ever show that again. Says we're in a geo zone, aircraft in restricted zones. Check map to find recommended zones. Code 30083, unable to take off, it says. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, with the DJI Go app, uh, what you do is a lot of times it'll tell you in a, you're in an NFZ, you're in a restricted area, and it won't let you fly. But if you try to take off, it will actually bring up a message and allow you to go through the authorization process. So I'm gonna try that here and see if that works. So I just hit the takeoff button and it brought something up on the screen. It's the aircraft or the takeoff message. I'm not gonna do that first. I'm just gonna try and start the motors by doing the down and in. It says aircraft in authorization zone, unlock to take off. It tells me what it is and gives me a message asking me to unlock it. And then I just click unlock and it says unable to lift restrictions. Come on now, really? It, you got that far, made it get to that and then it's gonna stop it? Let me try that again. So down and in, it says it's an authorization zone. Asking if I want to unlock the area, I click unlock, unable to lift restrictions. So I'm grounded. I'm sitting here. Uh, if I had to do an inspection of this or I wanted to just, you know, maybe there's something really cool right over here. I'm allowed to fly here, whether I'm a recreational pilot or I'm a part 107, but the Mavic Mini won't let me fly here. So luckily I've got this and this. So hopefully these will let me fly. Let me just try one more time. So let me try and take off, press the button, and no go. So it won't let me. So DJI, come on now. This is something that uh, you're making my product so that I can't use it. You've built this great GeoZone system, which uh, uh, makes it so that you have to like think twice about whether I should be flying in this area or not uh, before I actually can because there is an airport right over there but I'm allowed to fly here. You should let me do this unlock. So this is uh, not cool. So let's uh, switch away from the mini. Let me go ahead and turn this off. RC connected. Let me turn on my drone, take off the gimbal guard. By the way, the gimbal guard for the Mavic Air is the best design gimbal guard of any drone that I've ever had. It's fantastic. I wish they would have learned the lesson from this one for all the other drones that they have. 
Okay, so let me go ahead, turn it on. Okay. So it's booting up, and I don't know if you, I don't know if you guys will be able to see this, but literally right over there, you can see. Can you see that airplane taking off over there? So this is why. I mean, this is an authorization zone, right? I mean, somebody who really doesn't know about drones and rules and regulations and really doesn't think about what's going on, you know, that's maybe. This is a great place for the DJI Geo Zones. So, uh, because I should have to think twice about having to fly here, whether that's safe. I mean, that, that's a small little airplane, you know, just a few hundred yards away. All right, so we got nine, eight satellites. We can see right here, it's telling us cannot take off, and it's showing that there is all these zones here so we're in the blue restricted air, or the blue authorization zone we don't care about the yellow and orange for the most part okay and if I look it says the overall status cannot take off in a no-fly zone well we'll see about that right so that's a bit misleading all right so we got 10 satellites I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, bring the sticks uh, down and in together uh, or you could use the launch button. I really don't want to launch, but I just want to start the propellers to see if I would be able to. So I'm just going to move the, uh, the sticks down and in. And that normally, if I wasn't in an authorization or a restricted zone, would start the propellers. But what it did do is it brought up another menu here on the screen telling me uh, that there's some flight restrictions. You can't take off. And do you wish to apply for self-unlocking to access the zone? Well, yes, I do. Am I qualified to fly in the zone? Yes, I am. I agree to bear full responsibility for my flight in the zone. Yes, I do. I agree to provide the DJI's device's hardware information. Sure, you've got access to it right here. So I will click yes, and it says unlocking, and it says unlock success. Yes, and the reason it, if I hadn't done this previously in the past, it would actually take me through a couple of extra prompts. I would have to enter in my phone number so that I could, so that they could kind of verify who I am. It's kind of just a check and balance. They're not calling you or anything, but basically they just want to know that you are who you are. And the, re and the way they do that is you send them their phone number and then they send you a text with a code. You enter in that like five or six digit code in the software and then you're good to go. So now that I've done that, it says that I am ready to go up here. So I should be able to launch. So, yep, we can see that my Mavic Air now has the propellers spinning. Now it's bringing up another uh, message here. It's saying your aircraft has entered an enhanced warning zone. Well, I'm actually in an authorization zone, so it's even more than that. But I'm just going to go ahead and agree to that and say yes. And uh, I can... So I'm in a tight little area here, but just to show you that. So I'm in a tight little area here, but you heard that my Mavic Air was able to take off. So that is the Mavic Air. So I'm going to uh, go ahead and switch over from this. And we will switch to the Sparks controller. Go fly. All right, sure. All right, so again, we get the cannot take off message here. Click the button. We see an overall status that says cannot take off. We're in a no-fly zone. All right, that's not a big deal because all we have to do is try and launch it, and it will take us through the process. So the last time on the Mavic Air, I used the sticks, the, the down and in method to start the propellers. If this time I can just use the takeoff button here in the software, so I'm gonna tell it to launch it. And it didn't actually launch, it brought up another message saying, hey, you're in a flight restricted area, you're in an authorization zone, do you want to apply for self unlocking? Say yes. And yes, I agree, I'm qualified. Yes, I'm gonna bear full responsibility. And yes, uh, you can grab my DJI device's hardware information. Say yes. Supplying for the unlock, I got an unlock success message say yes and here i go and i'm now flying okay so we can see 
right there, my spark is in the air. So, set you guys back down. I'm gonna go ahead and land it. All right, so that just went to show that uh, it's a super simple process with DJI Go 4, whether you have a Spark, a Mavic Air, same process would be for a Mavic 2, a Mavic Pro, a Phantom 4, pretty much all the other drones. It's a super simple process to apply for that unlock through the software, but the Mavic Mini, it's a no-go. So DJI Fly, they have not implemented that ability to unlock the software. Now, the other thing that I checked actually before I came out here to test this, I went to check on the DJI website to see if they have the ability to do it via the website because that's another way that you can do unlocking for other drones is through the DJI FlySafe website. You can do a self unlocking, but they don't even have the Mavic Mini listed as one of the drones on that self unlock page. So uh, we got a little bit of a problem with Mavic Mini in flying in authorized zones. And I know for a lot of you guys, you guys live in those areas and you have to fly in those areas if you want to be able to do anything, have any fun. And, uh, you know, that's it, it is what it is. Hopefully DJI sees this. Hopefully, uh, hopefully it, they implement it in a near-term update uh, because otherwise you're kind of limited where you can fly. Some of the best places to fly here in Cincinnati area are in authorized zones. There's two, two zones that are down kind of by the downtown area and uh, you have to really get authorization to be able to fly close to those. So anyways, that's it. Uh, Mavic Mini can't fly in authorized zones. Uh, Mavic Air, Mavic, or the DJI Spark, and all the other DJI drones, super easy. Hope that was helpful for you guys. Uh, hope to see you guys on another one soon. Let me know in the comments below. Uh, did I miss something? Is something wrong with mine in terms of this capability? Are you guys able to do this, or are you not able to do it? Thanks for watching. Hope you guys have a great day. Get out and go fly it, except in an authorization zone for the mini, and hope to catch you on another one soon. See you guys.